I have some, some case studies in my book where we talk about this. This is chapter 21 with a weak crank signal and what it can do. And what you'll see is the signal, the min-max, so it's an AC sine wave, the whole sine wave is not used. We only use a threshold in the middle. And the reason for that is that signal will grow and grow and grow with speed. We don't need the rest of the signal. We only need it to cross that threshold. And that's that 500 millivolt number I teach to take an AC signal and convert it to digital with an AD converter. It has to cross a certain threshold. Weak crank signal. Yeah, I'm making the call, Danner. Put a crank sensor in this it's thing. It's coming at three. Okay. I need an area where I'm still cranking. Yeah, we're losing both spark and injection pulse because look, we're still cranking it here based on the crank signal and we're losing both spark and injection pulse. What a freaking awesome case study. This is a faulty crank sensor. I'm confident. This is where we get on the phone, we confidently call the customer, we confidently sell our diagnostic time. And you know, we should probably stop talking about time. I've said that. Let me just say this. If I'm working in the field and I'm not with the camera and I'm not explaining every step I'm doing, this would be a standard diagnostic charge. I'm just gonna leave it at that because what is the standard diagnostic charge? And that's the part that we need to change in this industry. A standard diagnostic charge, meaning the $500 we talked about with a retainer and coming in and a problem car, and this one really doesn't follow that scenario. This is a regular customer dropped off to my brother. He had just a brief amount of time into it and uh, this wasn't that hard to pinpoint, right? This is a standard diagnostic fee. What is the standard is the question. I believe our standard for what we do needs to be elevated. We need to stop talking about time on a, a diagnostic like this. Because if I can with experience down the road and I see 20 more of these, how quickly am I gonna be able to roll through it? Okay, so I get better at my job and now I make less because I'm better at it? What other industry does that? Like, how can you pay a technician like that? How can you pay a garage like that? It took the garage X amount of time and I hate using the word time here. We're not talking about time. We're talking about expertise. Can I be 100% accurate? Tell a customer, you need a crank sensor. We're done. Not sell the customer a timing belt and a timing job. That's not what this needs. Or throw some other parts at it. Let's throw coils and plugs at it. Well, that didn't fix it. Let's put injectors on it. That didn't fix it. It just needs a crank sensor. And I know that and I can prove it. I should be paid for that time. A standard fee for this car. And we'll just leave it at that. Whatever that standard fee may be. We'll pick this right back up with a new crank sensor in. We'll hear this car running. We'll take some after waveform measurements. And uh, wrap this one up. So we can't plug in our little magic scan tool and read codes and change a part in this case, can we? You need to know your systems. You need to know your designs. You need to know operation. You need to know your fundamentals on this kind of sensor and understand the characteristics of it. This was a great case study for it. And Caleb's gonna pull in some images in the uh, edits as far as some other case studies we've done showing this scenario um, in my chapter 21 playlist in my book, which is titled Ignition System Inputs. We cover this variable reluctance sensor in this exact issue. It's nice to see it again. It's been a long time since I've seen one. The symptoms of this were pretty awesome. Backfiring through the exhaust, engine cranking where it would almost stop, timing related. What would someone do on a guesswork without a lab scope? Or maybe you even measured sensor resistance if you even knew to do that and it measured fine. What are you gonna do? What, 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 do you, what part are you gonna change here? I could see a timing belt being thrown on this car. I could see ignition coils being thrown on this car. Uh, you just see it all the time. Parts changes cost you, as, if the customer, you guys are watching me, the, your parts changing mentality where you're gonna read codes, change a part, will cost you way, way more in this scenario than what we found here. This is a standard diagnostic charge and, and a crank sensor. Done, fixed.